Hello and welcome to this week's Patriots Mailbag. I am Doug Kide. If you have a question for me, tweet it to me at Doug Kide using the hashtag MailDog and I will possibly answer it here or in my weekly Nesson.com written mailbag. Let's get right into it though. First question here comes from, I'm probably going to butcher this name, but Ovu Seljic who asks, how likely slash unlikely is it that the Patriots pick up Sony Michelle's fifth year option? I would say very unlikely at this point, especially if Michelle misses the first half of the season, as Michael Lombardi, former Patriots exec, Nesson analyst, uh, hinted could be possibly coming for this season. He is on the physically unable to perform list. Uh, he's dealt with a lot of injuries. He's been a little bit ineffective in his first two years with the Patriots. So for all of those reasons, I would say when the Patriots do have to make this decision in a year, it's probably not going to be picked up. Uh, obviously things could change. Maybe he winds up having a massive season. Maybe, you know, everything comes together. He gets healthy, stays healthy. But at this point, that all seems a little bit unlikely. I wouldn't necessarily say that this was a waste of a first round pick on Sonny Michelle. I know that's sort of the hot take going out there, but I don't think it was the best use of a first round pick. I know it didn't love it at the time. And on the flip side, the Patriots did win a Super Bowl with Sonny Michelle. So it certainly was not all bad. Second question here comes from Seb who asks, could you see the Pats bring in Adrian Waddle as a veteran depth tackle? He'd come cheap and has experience in the system. At this point, I mean, the Patriots have started practice and they haven't brought in some veteran tackle depth. So I would say that they're going to wait on this for now because that's what it looks like they're doing. See what they've got in Yadni Kaja, see what they've got in Corey Cunningham, some of the op other options they might have there, Justin Heron maybe, Jermaine Illuminor. And then if none of those options pan out, maybe then they go and get Ladrian Waddle. Because as you mentioned, he does have experience in the Patriots system. So I don't think it would take him a long time to get acclimated by any means. I mean, last season, Marcus Cannon and Isaiah Wynn went down and then the Patriots signed Marshall Newhouse and he was able to play right away with no experience in the system. So those veteran tackles, you know, should be able to acclimate pretty quickly, especially if it's a guy like Waddle who has experience. Personally, I would sign Waddle right this second just to have some insurance in that position but it doesn't appear that that's what the Patriots want to do. So I'm just kind of trying to go through the thought process on why that might be. And it might be because they want to see what they have in the younger options first. Final question here comes from Matt Cooper. Do you think Demir Bird could emerge at wide receiver due to his prior chemistry with Cam? I know that this is something that we have to ask Bird about. It's something we have to kind of think about. I understand the question. At the same time, Demir Bird was buried on the Panthers depth chart for three seasons with Cam Newton. They connected on 12 passes in three regular seasons. So I don't think that this gives him some major advantage of having experience with Cam Newton since the entire time he was in Carolina, he was buried on their, on their depth chart. Uh, he, he didn't actually emerge until he wound up with the Arizona Cardinals last season and had for him what was a career year. So I don't know, maybe knowing Cam and you know having worked together a little bit gives him a slight advantage, but I still think that he's a roster bubble guy competing for snaps and, and roles and everything with guys like Jacoby Myers and Jeff Thomas. Um, and some of the other, you know, undrafted rookies in the mix and other kind of veteran options in the mix. So I don't know. I don't foresee a big role for Demir Bird. And if he does have one, I don't think it's the 12 passes that him and Cam Newton connected on in their three seasons together in Carolina.